We've recently developed a new tool that lets you insert citations to the literature while you're writing on MathOverflow. It's just a prototype at the moment, and to use it you're going to have to install a special user script in your browser. We've only tested this on Chrome so far, so I'd advise that you use that. To get started, visit meta.mathoverflow.net and find the post Formatting Citations to the Literature on MathOverflow. If you scroll down, you'll find my answer describing the prototype. To install the prototype, you need to download. You need to first download the user script, which you can do, which you can do by clicking on this link. You can dismiss this toolbar. Once you've downloaded the the script, you'll need to install it. To do that, go to the window menu in Chrome and select Extensions. Pull up the user script that you downloaded in uh, that you downloaded, and drag and drop it into the extensions tab. You'll need to click Add to give Chrome permission to install the script. Now we can go over to MathOverflow and try it out. Let's ask a new question. Notice now that there's a Cite button in the toolbar. All we have to do is start writing our post. When you want to mention a paper, just type a bit of citation data, maybe the title, the author, if you want to put a part of the journal reference, that's fine, but it's not really necessary. And then highlight the text and click the Cite button. A search window will pop up and it will suggest several results and possibly even show you a PDF preview of the, of the article. If you don't get the result you want, you can add more information in the text box here. When you've got what you want, select the result in the left pane and click on it. And a nicely formatted link to the article will be inserted in your text. By default, it just shows the title of the paper and the link goes direct to, to, to a PDF. The, the full citation information, including the author and uh, the bibli bibliographic data, are included in, in an HTML tag, so it's preserved there for the future, but you can also add it back into the text if you want.